There it is. See that? That's a nice tug. Good. Boop. Shake off. I'm Zach George. I train dogs. This is my new dog, and I'm gonna show you how I trained her from day one. Things definitely won't always go smoothly. You can start from the beginning, or you can pick up anywhere. Subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss an episode. When you put into motion an approach based on love and respect, your results will forever remain in motion. This is Inertia. Welcome to the Dog Training Experience. Today, we're gonna to work on continuing to increase Inertia's desire to play. We'll also see how she's doing during bath time, and I'm going to attempt to start teaching her a new trick, too. She's been so conditioned that when she sees her pup box, she gets real excited. If you don't know, pup box is a monthly subscription box. They give you age-specific items that make it easier to train your dog, and you get this guide every single month as well that keeps you on track with your training. I mean, look at this, a bath time scrubber. This is a way to like really effectively scrub your dog in a way that's comfortable for them. What is that? We're gonna use this definitely. That's a nice one. It's a quality product. And chicken hearts. This is a delicacy in many parts of the world, just so you know. Go get your toy. Let's see how that retrieve is looking. All right, she's got it. Come on, girl, let's go. Good, you want this? Perfect. Let's give her a reward for that. You want a chicken heart? That's a real chicken heart, folks. So you put <laughs> food in this, they roll it around and food comes out. So for example, if your dog is dealing with separation anxiety or they bark when you leave the room, giving them a toy like this is likely to keep them really preoccupied. So I have a whole month's worth of supplies here to use to motivate inertia and to care for her and train her. So I'm really glad Pup Box exists. Pup Box is gonna give all of you 50% off of your first Pup Box when you sign up for a three, six or 12 month subscription. Just just go to pupbox.com slash Zach and enter discount code Zach. I'll have that linking code in the description. I'm gonna try something new today. We're gonna go on a Frisbee walk and see how that goes. So a frisbee walk is, well, I don't know because I think I just invented it. But I noticed that when we're on a walk, she sometimes gets randomly interested in playing and jumping and biting. And I think I can convert that enthusiasm into drive for the frisbee. That's my objective is just to periodically take advantage of times when she's naturally into playing to see if I can really intensify her intensity in the game. We're doing it just a normal walk as far as she's concerned, letting her smell around, letting her get adjusted to the outdoors. I'm prepared with my frisbee over here when she decides she wants to play. Let me just see something. Let's, let's try to get a baseline sample here for a second. Let's see if I can get her playing tug with the Frisbee on demand. That's it. Let's look at that play growl. Ready? Let's try a roller. She's more likely to go after a roller like that than she is a Frisbee being thrown in the air. So that's good. But tug of war is actually what I'm really after right now because tug is what really evolves into intensity when it comes to Frisbee. So I have limited tug right now, but she's pretty interested, so I'll still take it. Come around, ready, go. Nice, hey, good effort, huh? Good job. But see how she just drops it and loses interest? That's something we're trying to improve. Yeah, go, get it. Come on, get it. See, that tug's a little lame right now. Gotta get a more intense tug. She's not really grabbing it and holding on. That's what I want. Come on, Arr. there it is. See that, that's a nice tug, good. Good, and that tug is a real symbol of intensity. Good, let go, because watch this. Nice effort, really good. That's it, see? A little bit more interested in the Frisbee. Inertia, this way, come on, come on. Good, yes, good, look at that tug, nice. Go. Oh, good catch. That's one of our best ones right there so far. And see, that's the thing with, with Frisbee and a dog like Inertia, it can take a good bit to get them into it. By stopping when she's at peak interest, I think we're gonna increase the odds that she'll be more interested in it next time too. Good girl, get it. Good, let go. And we're gonna stop right there. So we keep her really interested and then we'll revisit this maybe in a little bit. Since Inertia is only seven months old and not fully grown yet, Frisbee lessons like this are kept pretty short and low intensity for now. She stumbled on another Frisbee that I brought out. Inertia. This would be a significant moment. Let go. Yes, leave it. Come here, what's this? 
This would literally mark the very first time that inertia has disregarded the frisbee she's playing with and decided to go after the additional frisbee. Good, come on. What's this? Oh boy, what do we got here? That does a lot because you're introducing a new dimension to the game using multiple yes. frisbees, which will pique many dogs' interest. Secondly, it lets you set up lots of different exercise options for your dog and cool fancy patterns. See how she's like dying off a little bit? Let me see if I can get her more into the game by playing tug. Yes. Yeah. See, this is why tug is important. Because if you take a step back and you start playing tug and getting them really interested in you, then they're more likely to be engaged in the game. Go. See, just like that. Look at that. That's how you get yourself a catch. One of my next medium term goals with Frisbee is to get her playing with more than one disc at a time. It's a really great way to keep Frisbee super extra interesting by introducing multiple Frisbees. Let go. Yes, come around. Good. Go. See, see how unnatural that is? Because she's like, I was playing with this one and I want to go after that one. That means leaving another one behind. Come on, let's go. Yes, come on. Look at that. Good. Inertia. Hey, come on. What's this? What's that? Get it. Yeah. See what I mean? You can do stuff like that. Maybe we should just try to do the double for fun and see what her expression is like. The double disc throw is exactly what it sounds like. It's a freestyle frisbee move in frisbee competitions that only a handful of dogs can actually pull off. I wonder if inertia ever will. Go. One and oh, do you see that? She went for the first one. I was hoping that she might glance at the second one. Go. Okay, so we've got a long way to go before she can catch this double, but she's showing promise. Yeah, that's a nice tug. There we go. So after a little break, look at that intensity. So her intensity is increasing slowly, but surely. Come around. And one more. Go. Good. And on a success, while she's still into it, keep her wanting more. By giving your dog an appropriate outlet for their energy like fetch and following a few other guidelines, you can resolve all kinds of unwanted behaviors. If you want all of my dog training advice in one place, pick up both of my books and subscribe to this channel. I'll have links in the description. So why don't we check and see how Inertia is doing in the bath? It's been a while since we've done a bath update. I've given Inertia several baths at this point, and while she does have some nervousness in the bath, she generally does very well, but it's still a delicate process. So I think it's really important to tread pretty lightly during this bath. Get the temperature right. Good girl, yes, very good. I'm gonna go real gentle, since you know, it's normal for dogs throughout that first year to be a little nervous of the water and everything. So we're gonna go nice and slow with her, be really understanding. See this? Give her reassurance, yes. Doesn't that feel nice? <laughs> no. And remember, we've worked up to this over time by giving Inertia lots of treats and positive experience along with her baths. Even though she's a little more nervous here, I've given her enough baths where I feel like she's going to recover in a moment. But if your dog were extremely nervous, you would want to go even slower than this. Wait. Good job, you're so dirty. <laughs> this reminds me that I probably need to use a non-slip surface for inertia in the future. You can see here that inertia may be feeling a little bit anxious here by the way she's licking her lips repetitively. Though it might also be the water I got on her face too. Be mindful of body language like lip licking and yawning when you're training your dog in a potentially stressful situation. This is your cue to go easy. She's pretty tolerant of the bath. I really think that's because I was really cautious and careful about introducing her to the bath and making it a fun experience. Good girl. I'd say she's wet enough now. I've been using this shampoo. I'm almost out of it, but I got this in a pup box as well, and I love it. So we're gonna get her all sudded up. We got this bath scrubber in our pup box, so I'm really anxious to use this. I love this one. This is nice. It's really easy to grip too but it really allows you to get all the way through to their skin rather than just rubbing, you know? And it really allows you to get super good suds. And she's loving it. Most dogs seem to love it anyway. I mean, she's doing really well. You think she's seven months old right now and she's very tolerant of the bath. Wait, good girl. Good thing about bath time too, it's a really good time to 
build trust with your dog and really build communication with them. You can see how our training is coming together. I asked her to wait, even though you know she doesn't want to. It's also a really good time to teach them how to shake off on cue. Ooh, shake off. I'm gonna capture the behavior. Hey, you did a great job. Can you shake off? Shake off. Okay, she doesn't quite know that one. Ready, and shake off. <laughs> All right, shake off. Today I hope to train Inertia how to sit pretty. You know, that's where they sit on their butt and they do this and hopefully hold that position. But the thing about teaching sit pretty is there's a lot of muscle memory involved with it. So it's not the type of thing you typically train in one session. I'm gonna be using a clicker today. Remember the click just means good dog. I like that. You win a piece of meat. I think it's extra important to use a clicker in the beginning stages of training, especially if you're new to training a dog because it helps you get better with timing. Naturally, your dog is gonna to have to know how to sit before you can teach sit pretty. So that's a prerequisite. So let's see where she is. Really what I'm watching here are her hips over here to make sure she's nice and balanced, not leaning to one side, not one leg tucked under the other because you want her to have a good foundation. I'm continuing to click and reward here just to let her know I like that she's engaged and paying attention to me while I'm talking to you. Good, so I'm gonna lure her and I'm watching to see if both of these feet get up off the ground. Go on, get it. Yes, did you see that? They just barely got up. And I genuinely have never done a sit pretty training session with inertia because until now she's been too young. You want some? Yes, good. And you might notice over here, she keeps trying to play dead. She's being a little bitey right now, a little frustrated because she's like, wait, I thought I learned all of the tricks. So there's still a few more to learn. So I have to really be patient with her. Okay. <laughs> I like to play dead too. That's all right. And it's okay to go ahead and reward the initiative too. That's the kind of thing you just have to figure that out with your own dog. Sometimes it's okay to reward the initiative. Sometimes you wanna withhold, just depending on a variety of factors. Minimizing frustration is a pretty good thing. I'm loving the way that play dead is looking. Good job. Come alive. No, no, come alive. Good job. You might notice I'm not saying sit pretty or anything like that because she doesn't yet understand the whole trick. So really I'm just focused on getting her into position yes. and just letting her know when she's doing something I like by clicking and rewarding. We'll teach her the actual word later. Yes, good. Let me see if I can get her to hold that position a little bit more, oops, and luring her up. I'm Okay, that time I did elect to go ahead and reward her even though she broke that sit position just to keep her engaged. It's all about the lure with sit pretty. If you go too high, they jump up off the ground like that and we don't want them jumping up. I mean, when we teach her to walk on her hind legs, if we ever do, that would be good, but that's not what we're focused on right now. So it's just, I mean, you wanna keep that lure just glued to their nose. Yes, yes, good. I accidentally hit click twice there, but that was perfect. Sometimes I get, really excited over these things. That was actually my goal for this training session, just a little bit of extra effort to hold that position. So I'm gonna keep that lure really, yes, good, that was awesome. Let me keep the momentum going. Yes, do you see how clumsy she is when she goes up there? The muscle memory takes time. You can't do that in one training session. Even though I'm holding a small treat in my hand, I'm still not letting inertia access it until I click. That's when I'll release a little piece of the treat for her to nibble on. Yes. I don't even mind that she's grabbing onto my arm there. If that helps her, that's fine to help her balance. Let me try a bigger piece of treat here and see if I can encourage her to nibble on it. And, oh, nope, I don't like the way she's sitting, so we'll... Yes, good, good. Each time I'm clicking here, I'm releasing good. a bit of the treat. Good girl. We're off to a good start on Sit Pretty. I'll continue to work with her on that and hopefully we'll see that get better. If you wanna see how Inertia is doing today, follow us on TikTok and Instagram. Go to pupbox.com slash Zach and enter discount code Zach to get 50% off of your first pup box. Subscribe to my channel and get my books for all of my training advice in one place. In our next episode, we'll see how Inertia is doing on her neighborhood walk and much more.